All right, everybody, welcome. We are doing Middle Mantis, which means you have to wait until you have a Mantis. Once you have him, you put him in this spot, in exactly this slot, and then you can play anything else. So you can't do anything until you have him, but once you have him, you can start like filling up your team with other things, and he's going to kill things on either side every turn. Um, you are allowed to just put stuff on one side if you want to try and like avoid stuff dying, but yeah, he stays here. And I'm probably going to look for Marmosets, because I don't know if having apples is going to be very helpful. Probably going to look for those later. Oh. <laughs> okay then. This is why I want like a slot of the food slot. I want there to be a reason for me to roll. And we have the offensive tea bags. Let's go. Can you add hyena to the mantis pack, please? No, it's a shuffle. Same reason I don't put in Komodo Dragon. And I'm buying these. I can't use them, but I can sell them again. And if I find the guinea pigs, then potentially useful. Alright, so. I think I want to roll first, right? And then I combine and sell. Yeah. Nothing I want there. We're just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna end my turn. I'm using my free rolls on tier two. Like I'm not I'm not wasting anything by not rolling here. Toy. Alright, now guinea pig me. I need to try and find three of these, and then I can maybe have a couple of attempts at trying to find this guy later. And I don't know if there's any food I need to be freezing. I'm pretty sure I don't need the spiders, at least. <laughs> Nothing, okay. Show me two? If I can find two, that's at least one chance. I'd appreciate that. You're all the guinea pig. I mean, it's not too bad. It's like, if I don't find any guinea pigs, I'm just going to spam by avocados. And honestly, that's probably going to pay out better anyway. You know, unless you hit the really lucky <laughs> one in five thing anyway. Oh, never mind. We're back on the guinea pig train. <laughs> one more. Okay, so now I have to decide whether I just go for the one or if I keep rolling to find a third. Because right now I can get four, you know, four guinea pigs, combine three to see one thing from the next tier, which will hopefully be this guy. But if I can find a third shop guinea pig, then I can potentially get two combos, which doubles my chances of finding something better. But at the same time, rolling with only one slot open with this many things, and I'm only looking for one thing, odds aren't great. So I'm probably just going to buy this. I don't mind taking like one shot at it and then just buying avocados. Hopefully they'll show up at least. Something toxic to include in these packs would be toy pets that summon other units. So you can win fights even though you have no pets on your board. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what happened last time, I think. Yeah, fairies in the pack. I know that's a different one where I managed to survive a bit because of that. Unless it was just the Mantis one I'm thinking of. Avocado. Yeah, let's just go for one of these then. Show me. Nope. <laughs> So I could buy Soul Crow and have the chocolate ready, but I don't think it's worth a whole lot here, so yeah. I will freeze another one. If I can get another combo, then I... Oh, yay! Okay, <laughs> we get to try again. Next turn, go number two. Hopefully we'll find it this time. Rock and a fountain frozen. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I could have just bought something and fountained it. I think I did have a fountain at the same time. But I'm fine. I'm fine trying these. What have you got? Uh, okay. I can't keep these, but yeah, we roll to see if another one shows up first. <laughs> nah, okay. We, we just buy this then. And hope we can find it later. Let's have a look then. Let's see, yeah, there's a couple. Yeah, that shouldn't have been on the team. Yeah, guys, please, no guinea pigs. You can buy, sell, but you can't keep them on your squad. Nice job. Unless you have a mantis in the middle, right? Always. If you got the middle mantis, anything goes. Alright, so now we doom roll. And I don't freeze anything else, because there's no point lowering my odds of finding the mantis. I'm checking this guy. A slug, pretty cool. Okay, so one other thing you can do is you can just run everything on one side of it. So I don't have to kill both of these. I can just, you know, do something like that. Probably this way. And yeah, I do get a dolphin if I pop the beluga, but I think I'd rather just <laughs> kind of use the slug. Ooh. Okay, these are nice. Banana on, like, something would be pretty solid as well. Even this is, like, a free roll. But yeah, we're running it that way. And we're good. Okay. This is not a bad setup. <laughs> okay, we're saving that. 
So I'm thinking actually run this the front, maybe this way around, but yeah, I definitely want Blobfish onto here. I don't know, I don't have things I want to buff. I can do this just because they're there, but yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't care about these things. I need better end pieces. Because these aren't the ones I want. Not that I know what I do want. Stego would be good for buffing the things in the middle during the fights. A big Slepnir would be incredibly strong. German Shepherd could be great if you get like big summons. This wouldn't be bad as a backline, actually. Yeah, I don't know. There's lots of good things, but they're all like... They're late tier. So I don't want to invest too much in a tier 2. I can invest in my smallest slug, but that feels... That feels a lot worse, so I won't do that. We're gonna trade through okay, right? Yeah, they can't have had that slime for too long. Not that it mattered, actually. <laughs> Okay, so now you scale, well, a lot of things, really. A vulture wouldn't be too bad. I'm definitely leveling you, because this stays forever. Um, you could potentially frog swap the stats of a very large middle mantis onto a side thing if you find enough of those. But yeah, and I don't know, like, we can just play the vulture. It's definitely not bad. I'm not going to touch the dog, because it <laughs> just scares me. Wait, Tata, that's also okay. I can also just sell something to have the clownfish out, because, like, that's extra stats on you. But I kind of like having my sacrificial thing, so I'm just going to freeze this and let it go as it is. Because, yeah, this is also two triggers, so I can just, like, swap that in for the blobfish slot, maybe. And then when the level three ant dies, we get a random plus three three somewhere. Hopefully somewhere that I care about. The blobfish in a little fresh rice container is adorable. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't just make it ugly. It's so unfair to the blobfish, like, everyone makes fun of it, but it's only because it's, like, it got its picture taken where it, like, shouldn't be. Okay, level up, show me something nice. Hydra and Phoenix. I mean, neither are bad. I don't know if I want to start investing, though, because I do feel like some of the other things would be more solid. So I think we can just wait on this. I think we buy that. I think I am still happy with where things are. And then we roll. Yes, let's try and get you to level 3. Don't care about that. Um, I could pepper you to try and keep it alive. It's better than nothing for now, anyway. And yeah, freeze an eagle. We're going to lose the smaller slug next turn. And then the turn after that, we're probably going to have to replace both. But yeah, this is looking okay. And yeah, a few people running monkeys. I'm guessing uh, that got <laughs> slid out of slot. But yeah, I'm guessing that's um banana mantis situation. Yeah, some of these mantises are not where they should be. Middle slot, guys. Oh no, my stuff got shuffled forward, but it's during the fight. It's okay. Oh my god, we actually draw. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Alright. Or if I could find a... Well, no, did I... I... Yeah, I took out Spino. So yeah, we ignore that. I don't really care about leveling anything in the fights. Definitely don't care about this. I could get a Monty. <laughs> like if I put an egg on this or something. Um, But yeah, I still don't think it's the play. I could mushroom that and that'd be pretty good. Because then it gets respawned next turn, hopefully. I'm hoping this would disappear first, but it actually might not. So maybe I don't do that. I think I just freeze the Blobfish and I leave. Yeah. Yeah, let's not risk that. How many hours do I have in sap? Let me check. 930-ish. Uh, but that's only on Steam. I've played like a bit on my phone and a lot on the test server. Like, over the years. That melon was brutal. Oh, but we got... <laughs> okay, wait. I think we're actually fine. Yeah, we're fine. Amazing. Mushroom. These could be good bases. Oh, we found a Stego! Okay, you're gone. <laughs> I just don't care about you anymore. I'm kind of tempted to run that at the front, because that... Unless I put it on you, actually. Yeah, hold on. So you can do that. Then I can have a sheep and sacrifice those next turn, and I can maybe try and find enough frog stuff to swap stats onto Stego. It's not bad, but if I... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, buy those. Turtle could be good to swap in as well, but I won't need it because of this. 
Uh, let's just pop on you for now. Stego can't buff itself anyway. And I may see if I can do the frog swap thing, because that could be very helpful if I can get that working. And yeah, Stego can hit like one of these two. Hopefully it will help out. It's actually summoned itself back. <laughs> He lives. He dies to the monkey, but he managed to survive a hit. Yeah, we're good. It's strong. We have a chance, maybe. I don't think you can. Uh, wait, was that for the like eagle sheep situation? Or mushroom eagle? I can't remember. I was trying something, and I've lost it. Uh, just keep rolling. We're not keeping the vulture. Vulture has been cool, but yeah, we're good. I do think... Getting melon on there makes more sense, so I'm just going to swap out one of the rams. But yeah, I'm hoping I can find frogs for this. I may need to have extra money to make it happen though, because I'd have to swap in other things too. I can even like mushroom that to try and get like extra, extra triggers off. No. Okay, chocolate maybe. Anteater, so I have something to play. Okay. Okay, this is maybe something. I may need to try and big brain how to do this, or maybe I just end up sacrificing a few things and running like a three squad for a turn but yeah if i can get the stats from this onto like my stego i'd be pretty happy ah that's a loss okay another stego i'm freezing it all right, so I can triple buy frogs, sell that, swap the stats, and then buy something else. Something will die, but I think I'm okay sacrificing you. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. So swap the stats again. Play this. And yeah, we, we let the vulture die. So for this turn, we can leave it this way, but we can do things differently soon. And I don't know whether I do Slepner or not. Like I like the Highland Cow. Like, if I can get the stats on here, then it'd be great, but... I don't know, freeze it. Maybe. If we can get the Stegosaurus to hit it, then that'd be pretty solid. So like, there's always a chance. Okay, let's have a little look through the teams in the last, like, three seconds of the round. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need to level this. Or get, like, extremely into the late game, so it's amazing. Amazing. And now my level 3, 5-5 five, five is going to grow slightly. Yep, there he goes. So another Stego isn't bad for a minute. Um, I think we... Instead, though... I need to get something out. I want, <laughs> I want to level this as well. Is leveling that the most important thing? Like, do I just let this die? Maybe sell it so I actually just run a 3-squad? I can play the Anteater and sacrifice that instead. It's at least helpful next turn. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is level this. And then I think I'm going to sell this and buy a banana for this. And yeah, I may try for the Sepna, so let's do that. I don't know if that's a good play or not, but it's... No, it's a terrible play because now my Stego doesn't have a target. Oh, God. I forgot that it needs no equipment. Okay. Okay, well, we got we got crushed, but we can fix this. Is that middle, though? Yes. If it's in the middle slot, it's in the middle. Okay, let's get this going. Um, I could mushroom that. And again, it comes down to the situation of does, does the stuff disappear in time for new stuff to get spawned? And I don't know. But I think I am going to be sticking around with this guy. So, yeah, we can just stack that. They can get sacrificed. I actually could do this the other way around, and it makes more sense, too. So this can't buff itself, but it can buff the thing behind it, I think, even though it says the frontmost friend. So I think it will buff the monkey here. So I'm hoping Stego will hit this, and then that'll trigger and give this a massive mana injection. And I don't know, we can stoats to find another thing. Yeah, it seems fine. All right, start scaling this. Oh, it actually did. <laughs> okay, it worked. Hooray, Scorpion down. No. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Oh, that was a horrible trade. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Okay, chocolate is staying. If I sell this, see what it turns into. <laughs> Stego, okay. Uh, do I bad dog? I could just like 
I mean, I could use the Chaos Toy to try and pop other people's melons, but... Actually, almost everyone does have a melon on their Mantis, so I don't mind that. <laughs> it's this. Someone popped a Phoenix on their team. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, um, I'm just going to buy this, and I'm going to get the Friend Summon Gain Attack thing. And I need to leave you there, don't forget that. Okay, and then I need I need new things to throw on my squad. Yeah, we'll just find something next turn. Voitat is not bad, actually, as a sacrifice. It doesn't summon new ones, but it could help in a fight. And yeah, we leave this without equipment, which isn't great. Because, again, I'm not going to put equipment on the ones that are consistently dying. So I only have the 1 in 3 of actually getting amazing value on this. Unless I can, again, give it actual stats. And we actually hit it again. Amazing. What happens when you set a level 2 frog next to an over 50 behemoth? It doesn't swap it. It's, it's definitely still capped. Unfortunately. Alright, so we are going to buy both of these. And then... Yeah, I mean, I can maybe buy the chocolate first, but I need to still buy some other thing next turn. Um, yeah, just stack that, hold on to the chocolate. I don't know why I was looking at this one for the chocolates, because we already had the XP in the shop for it. And I don't know if I'm ever going to water review with anything. I thought I might do some weird transformations, but I kind of like where we're at with that. Have I heard of Pal World? Uh, I have. I don't think that's my kind of game, though. I don't know. I'm still trying to think what I'd play on, like, the main channel, or, you know, as, like, a very different thing. I think for Kino Plays, I'm going to be sticking with, um, kind of roguelike-y type things. I do want to try out Blatro, and I bought it recently, but I haven't, haven't dived in yet. Every time! Stego is amazing! It's just guaranteed hits! <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, and honestly, this isn't doing bad work either. Getting a tiny bit of attack every time. And I should probably... Yeah. Probably grab a turtle for you. So, let's level you up first, actually. See what that gives. And Yeah, I mean, that might be fine in a fight. It's another summon, but I don't think it really matters. So, grab you. Buy the chocolates. Okay, and Cornucopia. Nah, we're going to be giving that melon anyway. And Scent again? I'm going to need to replace one of the things, but I don't know if I want to buy another Voitata. I'm hoping to just find other... Yeah, other summon things. I want, like, Eagle and Stork. They'd be good. Okay, well, we missed on our Sepnir there. But we can maybe try and do another Frog Swap. Like, I have a bit of HP to play with, but I can't afford for anything to die, so I'd have to make sure I have, um... Yeah, other things working for me. I mean, buy a weasel? I'm gonna stack that, but then I'm just gonna roll. Ooh. Change positioning? We do it this way this time. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty happy to do that. Alright. And I could play a guinea pig next turn, and that kind of satisfies having both the slots filled. But it's not ideal. Okay, Stork is nice. Having another Stegosaurus isn't bad either, actually. Even just as a like a thing to throw away, it'll be strong for the fight. But I think I need to roll into an avocado or something to be able to afford what I want with the frog. Hmm. I don't know. Send it, see what happens. Town of Salem is also a banger, so is Luck Be a Landlord. I loved Luck Be a Landlord. Yeah. <laughs> Played a lot of that one. No. No, it was close. Okay. Uh, buy this. Sell one. I think I'm going to end on a stoat this turn. Unless I just shouldn't have done that and I should have just bought both of these. I'm worried I'm going to die if I don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe monkey scaling was the play. You could have, like monkey scaled up and then transform that or something. Instead of doing whatever it is that I'm doing with this guy. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's try and not be dead. So these two are going to be the targets for the Stegos. Hopefully this will get a, a strong one. And then, I don't know, I'm going to hold on to the frog, but I'm not sure if that's just a, a lost stream at this point. Because I feel like it's not really worth leveling this up unless I'm guaranteed to get the stats on it. And yeah, it's far from a guarantee, so. We lost all our equipment, but this doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the 25 damage snipe was kind of wasted, but 
We do have that. Very sorry, Terry. And then, I don't know. He's, he's capped out, but what can I do? <laughs> Another one there. Um, hold on to this. Can I find an avocado, please? Thank you. <laughs> okay, now show me another chocolate next turn and I can maybe do something here. So, set it again. We are going to be a lot weaker this turn. Unless, I don't know, that hits that and somehow it gets to, like, quadruple trade. But looking at these guys, not sure that's going to happen. Yeah, lots of very scary teams. Most people have managed to scale their front and back line. At least towards the top. So a couple of <laughs> more like me at the bottom. We're fine. Okay. It continues. Turn 23. Why set that last? I mean, I feel like it should stay there. Can I... Wait, can I do this? How much gold am I going to... Wait, yeah, I think I can do it and end on the guinea pig. Wait, we can still do this then. Okay. So, swap those stats onto the set now. There we go. So now I actually want to give it equipment. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to roll and hopefully find some equipment for us. Yeah, because I think that's I think that's going to miss it anyway. But it would be good to be able to swap it. Um, changing positioning. I don't think that makes a difference. I'm going to buy this just in case the Stego can still target the Slepnir, but yeah. Feeling a lot better. So now this guy can grow by himself. And yeah, this is always going to target one of these things and you're already 50-50. So now we just need to get another level on there, and then we also get the big snipes out of it. Oh, that might be too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that got me. Okay, very scary team. Fair enough. I managed to pull off both of my frog swaps, though, so we managed to get this to 50-50 twice. Which is honestly an achievement like, in its own right. But yeah, I'll take top five or six-ish. GG's. GG's, guys.